And let's start off with the David in this story. The number 17 team, Walsh Jesuit. Well, Walsh Jesuit has had a great road here so far. It's been a long and tough road ahead for both teams, though it's been Walsh Jesuit carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders throughout this season. First, they ran into a barrier. Kent State Ice Arena closed. That is their home ice. They didn't know where they were going to practice. They didn't know when they were going to practice. But one thing they know for sure is they're playing in this Final Four game. Seven to two. An incredible feat. Congratulations to St. Francis. They won that game 7-2, to two, and it was it, it's great to be able to see a team who missed out on the opportunity last year due to COVID. 365 days later, they come back and win this game to move on to the state championship. Congratulations, Coach Varga. Now let's talk about Upper Arlington first, the winner of the Columbus District. Well, we've seen Upper Arlington play time and time again throughout this season as this is their home ice rink here, the Ohio Health Ice House. It's extremely exciting to be able to watch them, but they've also matched up against the St. Ed's twice throughout this season, winning one and losing one. And earlier on this week, I had the opportunity to speak with two senior captains and about this game. Let's see what they had to say. Though I had a, a, a good tidbit in regards to the Jets. Now, I need you to know that the Jets had somebody this year. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rewind here and take you back to the Jets and their need for the cornerback, right? So this year, if you didn't know, Bradley McDougald, who's a Dublin native, so right here in Columbus Metro, okay, he had an injury. He came back early. And when I met with him earlier on this year, friend of a friend, he was telling me that he will likely be cut from the team, that furthering their need for a cornerback with the Jets. And that there is something you might not find on the depth chart, but you know that that is an added need for them at this time. Could have a little bit more push for a cornerback in this draft. Whoa. And Melina Williams sends the ball into Kiki McElrath. Kiki McElrath out the quarter cracks. Quarter cracks, swings it on to Melina Williams. Back to Kiki. Kiki, three-shot attempt, and it's good. That's a switch. That's a great set. To Leah Holmes with a three-shot attempt. That bounces and around. Two crazy bounces, and it falls for three points. And at 26-26, all tied up with a minute 45 remaining. Bella Parker, three points. Woo! Come right back. She said. In 29-26, they want the last shot here. Let's see if they can capitalize. Kiki had the ball in her hands last time, moving into the end of the first. And now it's Bella Parker. Bella Parker to Melena Williams. Back to Parker. Three-point attempt. Bella Parker. Three points. And she's got it. Another set play with another three-pointer. 